Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. So this is going to be part six of how to build your own raffle website. Now, I would recommend if you're just joining us now to go back to part one and start there. Uh, I don't think much of this will make sense <laughs> unless you uh, follow it step by step. I know uh, in the last couple of uh, videos I mentioned that we're basically going to be going through the payment gateway soon, but I thought I might as well, while I have the time, to go through the other aspects of the website while I'm waiting uh, to hear back from that company. So we're going to log into the website. So if you want to go ahead to Lux Prizes or well, whatever your domain is, uh, and do slash WP admin. So in there, you'll be able to, well, this screen will come up and in part four, I think, yes, part four, uh, we created our own or your own email account and also your own username and password. So if you want to go ahead and sign in with that now, so I'll use my default one here. That's grand. Okay, so basically what I want to go through in this video is content management. So this is going to be changing some of the small things on the website, mostly text-based things, like if you want to change this to how to play or you want to change these images to three different images, that's completely fine. All this, um, this text, you know, you'll probably want to change this to something that suits your business or, you know, the the style of writing maybe doesn't suit your business. So what we want to do is edit that. And I'll tell you how to do, how to edit all of this and also add your location in here and your social media accounts. So what we want to do is go into the homepage. You'll see this bar at the top. So this bar makes it very easy to edit the page that you're currently looking at. But the thing is, this, you, you might have noticed every page you go on to from this blue area down is the same. So that's obviously because, you know, say you're in a, someone hits this page. You obviously want them to know how to play on every page and basically they want to see if you're winners as well. I feel it's very important to always showcase your winners. Like, you know, that's the people... That's the people who won. That's the people that everyone is kind of not aspires to be. It's probably a bad word for it, but you know what I mean? It's always good to see the winners. Uh, anyway, so this is actually from the uh, blue bit down is the footer. So if we go back to the homepage, let's go back to the homepage and go up to the black bar at the top. See where it says edit page. If you just hover over that, you can edit the footer directly here. Okay, another way to get there would be to go to the get found theme options on the left hand side, click page blocks and then edit footer in there. It's very easy to find. Okay, so what this is using is WP Bakery, which is a very easy to use page builder. So I've decided to use this because obviously when I'm selling this package to people like yourselves, you know, some people might not be clued in on how to code or how to, you know, use HTML in its raw form. So this makes it very easy. So this is what are called WYSIWYG editors, which are basically what you see is what you get. That's a wee tidbit there for you. So if you want to edit the how to play box, so I've set these up for you, so you really don't need to uh, move anything about. Uh, but if you do move something about by mistake, because these are movable, you can always move it back or just don't save it. So on the right hand side here, it says update. If you save it, obviously that saves to the front end and you can't really go back. But if you make a mistake, just refresh the page and that will bring it back to what it was before you made that change. So all we need to do now is go to the text block and say how to play. You literally just say this is how to, to play, yeah, oh, yes. yeah, it's not the best. But you know what I mean, just to give you an, an idea, it's easy as that. Click save, same here, change the change these details. So this could be our raffle. You know, you get the idea, change it to anything you like. Now when it comes to changing images, all you need to do is click on the, the wee pencil basically means edit. So you can click on the image there. You can exit that image out, click on the plus, Drag a new image in here that you want. Could be this for, you know, probably, I probably wouldn't use that. 404 means page not found, but you get the idea. You find the image that you want and you set the image down the right hand corner. 
Uh, all the other settings are set for you, so that's all good. So you save changes and then that updates. Okay, so if you want to go down the page a wee bit more, you'll see our lucky winners again. Another text box that you can edit. All good in there. This carousel is the winner's carousel. So on the front end, you'll see uh, winners kind of scrolling through back and forth. So that's been set up to showcase your winners, which will be another quick episode or a quick video just to show you how to add your winners. But again, probably doesn't even need a full episode. It'd be very simple to go through. So looking for something, that's just a, a menu. So if you add uh, items to your uh, WordPress menu, which is in toggle menu, appearance and menus. So in there, say you add an, another page, you know, you can go and research WordPress in general. I'm not going to go through every single aspect of, of WordPress, but say you Google WordPress menus, it'll show you exactly what everything means uh, and it'll probably explain it a lot better than I do. So I'm going to show you exactly what matters to this uh, package. So I have added a raw HTML area here, which is because it's formatted slightly differently, but it's still very simple to edit. So to, to edit the, I'll show you at the front end what it looks like. So this location area, I think this is a good place to add your uh, location, but say you don't want your, to add your location at all, just complete, just exit this out and then that'll delete it and you can just update the page. So you always want to update after you've made some changes or else they will not appear in the front, on the front end. So this may look slightly daunting to some of you, but you can kind of line up exactly what's going on here with the hashes. So longest hash is the very top and so on and so forth. So there's four lines. So say we want to change this to, you know, Lux Prizes. One in London, if that even exists, <laughs> BT, or not BT, SW1RT. So make sure you leave these uh, open, open, is that brackets? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Should really know that. Anyway, see where uh, starts and ends there. Make sure that is left there because that basically means a line break so if you took those out that will just all be on one line so you want to make sure that these are left in very simple to change just make sure you don't take out these bits and bobs okay save that you can kind of see what it looks like there uh, in terms of opening or editing the social media icons click on the pencil there and then you can add your Facebook URL you can also add another social media so say you've got a Twitter and then you would add in your Twitter handle so you know or your full actually you need to add your full Twitter URL so just copy it from the URL bar and paste it in here so it would be like you know twitter.com slash whatever so I'm just gonna put a hash in here just for now uh, you might actually have a Instagram as well. There you go. So you can add your full Instagram URL in there. You can easily Google them, find them and just paste them in there. Save those changes. That's them saved on this page, but we still need to update. Just remember after editing any text that you're, and you're happy with, just go update on the right hand side. Okay. So Let's go back to the home page and give this a refresh see what we've changed. Okay, so you see now that this says Lux Prizes, One Main Street, and it's got all the relevant spacing. Underneath, we've got the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Those will all be links to your social media accounts. You can kind of see the updates there of where you've made and the raffle competitions. So that's a very simple how to change the footer content. Next content you might actually want to change are in the FAQs. So these FAQs are a good place to put in uh, frequently asked questions from your customers. So, you know, what happens if a competition doesn't sell out or, 
what happens if um I win or what happens if um I don't know something else <laughs> might actually happen or how do you get in contact with your uh your customers that kind of thing so all you need to do is go onto the FAQ page simple again just hit edit page at the top so we don't want to edit the header we don't want to edit the footer we want to edit the main bit of the page which is this white section here so we just go edit page sorry if I'm going too slowly here but it's good to kind of be thorough when going through these kind of things because you never know uh, what the level of uh, person would be uh, watching this so again text box at the top that's our title so we can change that very easily hit the the edit icon there easily change that so FAQ say we just want FAQs save that right okay so this next bit is going to be the drop down for the FAQ section so if we go ahead and click the edit button on the section here so what happens if I win okay all the other settings are fine so all we need to do is click save changes okay and then you'll see this text box inside this section here so if you hover over it and click edit this is going to be your answer so if you win we will contact you in a few days save changes and you can just repeat that for each one of these and if you have more uh, <clears throat> if you have another FAQ you want to add you can always just hit the duplicate button so say I click on this one this uh, object here or this icon here if you click this it duplicates it again and then you can add another one so very simple go ahead happy with happy with our question and answer we can update that we get a wee pop up here or we uh, message here so we can view the page directly so what happens if I win and there's our FAQs updated as well there you go if you win you will contact you in a few days simple as that so you can add on any other FAQs that you may like so I wonder if there's any more content that needs edited I think that's pretty much it privacy policy should have updated to your address here so actually this might be a good one to edit so if we go ahead so what we want to do is go down to privacy policy click edit page make sure that this is your domain name this is needs to be changed to your email address that you created so that might be win at lux prizes okay just make sure nothing else is in here okay that seems all up to date so we just go ahead and update that all good there okay so that's everything from this uh, quick video quick uh, quick basically a video on how to change content on the website